I'm excited. How about you? Everybody stand. Let's kick this thing off by singing. Sing the wondrous love of Jesus. Sing his mercy and his grace in the mansions bright and blessed. He'll prepare for us a place. Oh, when we all get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing that will be. When we all see Jesus, we'll sing and shout the victory on the last. Onward to the prize before us. Soon his beauty will be whole. Soon the pearly gates will open. We shall tread the streets of gold. Everybody sing. Oh, and we are. Come on, clap your hands, everybody. When we all get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing that will be. When we all see Jesus, we'll sing. One more time on the chorus. Ah, uh, when we all get to heaven, oh, what a day of rejoicing that will be. Thank you so much for being here tonight. We're thrilled to have you. We're glad to see all of you anytime at anything that we do here at Lee University, but particularly this night, every fall, and in this place. We built this chapel four years ago, and we built it particularly to be a house of worship. And we said we want all those things that turn people's hearts toward God to occur in this place. And that's what's happened for the last four years. We've had all kinds of worship. We've had weddings and we've had funerals and we've had Bible study and we've had all kinds of worship. Tomorrow morning when our regular chapel, part of our regular chapels, there'll be a liturgical service in here and this place will be filled with students. And we enjoy all kinds of music, but there's no music that turns our hearts toward the Lord for some of us like the music from the Redback. Now, I tell you what about the Redback. We bought one for every seat in here four years ago, and several dozen of them have walked away. The Redback hymnal is the most frequently stolen item on the Lee University campus. If you want to take yours home with you tonight, feel free. Just write me a thank you note, please, and send it in. I was trying to explain to one of my colleagues here on the Lee faculty who grew up in the Presbyterian church today what tonight was all about. And I said, Eric, the Redback Hymnal is a lot more than just a songbook. The Redback Hymnal is a culture. And it's a culture that we've all loved and enjoyed. And thank you for joining us with us in this special occasion and this special evening. So we're going to enjoy singing. You know, Redback Hymnal is not a spectator sport. You don't have to be a musician. If you do not sing to this music, there's a hot place in hell for you, I'm telling you. <laughs> you don't think I'm Pentecostal. Uh, so we want everybody to join in, and who better to lead us than Danny Murray? But before we go uh, back to the music, let's go to the Lord in prayer. Heavenly Father, we give you this evening as we give you every part of our lives. We ask you in the power of the Holy Spirit and in the name of Jesus Christ, accept our praise as we give all of ourselves to you. In Christ's name we pray, amen. Danny Murray. All right. Okay. Reach around and dig those hymnals out, and let's turn to page number six. The pages will go up, pages and titles will go up, and that's all you're going to get on the screen. We're not going to sing out of the wall. We're going to sing out of the book. Here we go, Jim. I want to know more. 
while traveling through this world of sorrow. I'm on my way to glory land. I'll not turn back for some tomorrow. My trials here, I understand. Sing it now. I want to know more about my Jesus. Oh, yeah. I want to know more about to go there someday somehow and after I reach that heavenly city I mean to know more than I know on the third verse he promised when his soul ascended I'm coming back the Lord did say On wings of love, you'll soar away. I want to know more about my Jesus. I want to know more about my Lord. I want to know more about the mansion I'm going to receive as my reward I want no more about that homeland I mean to go there someday somehow and after I reach that heavenly city I mean to know more I'll sing the chorus everybody Where Someday, somehow, and after I reach that heavenly city, I mean to know more than I know now. Oh, big hand for good singing. That's awfully good. Let's sing one more, and I'm going to let you be seated. I know a lot of you worried about when you're going to get to be seated. Some of you have already sat down, all right? So uh, don't be worried. It's going to be all right. Page 14, we want to hear the altos. Where are the altos? Raise your hand, altos. Be proud of who you are. Where are the altos? I'll meet you in the morning, girls. Get this mic over here. I want to hear somebody crank down on this now. Come on, Renee. I want to hear somebody. I want to hear an alto. How about you? Here we go. Page 14, I'll meet you in the morning. Here we go. I will meet you in the morning by the bright riverside when all sorrow has drifted away. I'll be standing at the portals when the gates open wide at the close of life's long dreary.
streets of that city of gold. For where we all can be together and be happy for a while the years and the ages shall roll. Come on, Alto, sing it out. I'll be there, Altos. I want you to turn it loose this time. Here we go on the chorus. be seated and say, ah. Oh. Now to the person next to you and say, is that your natural hair color? <laughs> All right, we heard, the, we heard the altos. We want to hear the basses. Don't we want to hear the basses? If you're a bass in the house, I want you to stand up. Stand up, basses. Be proud. Oh, look at there. Thank you, Dr. Khan, for standing. Come on, basses. Stand up, basses. Come on. Stand up. I want to see the basses. Come on. Come on, basses. Let's, let's go over here to We'll Soon Be Done With Troubles and Trials, page 30. Are you ready? Page 30, We'll Soon Be Done With Troubles and Trials. Here we go. Bill Thomas on the piano.
voices. I'm believing they'll get stronger as the night goes on. We had someone even admit to being bassists. That's a, that's a sin right there, folks. If you're a bass, you got to stand up and be counted. Amen? I've got 72 songs, folks. we got to get to work. Page 52. 72 songs I've got here. We gonna, you came to sing, right? Now, we can drag out a bunch of testimonies if you want to, but I came to sing. Page, page 52. Jesus, hold my hand. Here we go. Come on, let's clap our hands and sing. Well, as I travel through this That's Raymond. He's from Jamaica. He told me they didn't have any altos in his choir, so he had to do it. <laughs> You're holding up pretty good there, buddy. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, yeah. Hand in hand with Jesus, page 55. We haven't done this one in a while. Can we do that? Mm. One.
in church when they just let the ladies sing it. Sing it, girls. Or you can be seated. Ryan, come here while we're on this vein right here. There's a beautiful song. I don't think we'll, we'll sing. Maybe we'll join in the chorus with you. But how about singing this song, um, God Leads Us Along. It's on page 364. When we get to the chorus, we'll sing. The Ryan Wilson is from down in Hawassi, Georgia. We can't have nothing around here without him because I love to hear him sing, and I hope you do. Ryan, you know this song? God leads us along, 364. In Jesus. 
shady green pastures so rich and so sweet God leads his dear children along with a
centered in the Word of God and lifts up Jesus Christ. We were determined when we built this chapel that it would be a place where the Word of God was honored and loved. And as a matter of fact, you know, because we do silly sentimental things around here sometimes, uh, we decided we wanted to put an actual literal Bible in the foundation of this place. I saw Rick Fogwell back there. Rick, are you had this? Stand up, Rick. Go ahead, stand up. Rick is the superintendent who built this building and, and uh, was responsible for building this building. And Rick had become a new Christian, a new believer just a few years before. And even, even though he'd done lots of big buildings for, here, for us here, this one had a special place in his heart and had a special place in mine and Darlia's heart. And my brother Ray and his his wife Joan and when we were pouring the foundations pouring the concrete walls of this building I said Rick let's let's put God's Word in the foundation and he said that sounds like a good idea and we got a we got a Bible just him and me and a few hard hats standing around wondering what in the world was going on and I decided you know I'm Pentecostal I don't have to explain what I'm doing <laughs> uh, or even understand it for all that matter we wrapped that Bible up in a bit of plastic and we put it right in the foundation. We poured concrete over it right over there. If you spill it, fill it, yeah, right over there somewhere. And it was just a, it was just a private moment. It was no big deal. We didn't have a ceremony. There's not a liturgy for that. Uh, but we were so determined that God's word would be honored in everything we did here. And before we move on with more singing, happy songs and mellow songs from the Redback, let's turn to God's Word. We've asked two people who play an important role around here on a day-to-day -day basis for many years to take us to God's Word. First, Darlia Khan, and then the Dean of the School of Religion, Terry Cross. Darlia. I'm reading excerpts from a prayer of Moses, the man of God. So let's pray this together. Lord, through all the generations, you have been our home. Before the mountains were born, before you gave birth to the earth and the world, from beginning to end, you are God. For you, a thousand years are as a passing day as brief as a few night hours. Teach us to realize the brevity of life so that we may grow in wisdom. O oh Lord, come back to us. How long will you delay? Satisfy us each morning with your unfailing love so we may sing for joy to the end of our lives. Let us, your servants, see you work again. Let our children see your glory. And may the favor of the Lord rest upon us and make permanent the work of our hands. Yes, make permanent the work of our hands. Amen. A reading from Ephesians chapter 4 with some in chapter 5. Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but that which is to the good use of edifying, that it may minister grace unto the hearers. 
and grieve not the Holy Spirit, whereby ye are sealed unto the day of redemption. But all bitterness and wrath, anger and clamor, evil speaking, be done away from you with all malice. And be ye kind one to another, tender hearted, forgiving one another, even as God for Christ's sake hath forgiven you. Be ye therefore followers of God as dear children, and walk in love, as Christ has also loved us, and hath given himself for us as an offering and sacrifice to God for a sweet-smelling fragrance. See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. Wherefore, be not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. And do not be drunk with wine, wherein is excess, but be filled with the Spirit, speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord giving thanks always for all things unto God and the Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. How about this choir tonight? Isn't this a good-looking choir? How about a nice hand for this choir? Oh, yeah. Myrna Alford's playing the organ. And uh, on the piano, we got all kinds of pianists over here. Jim Milligan and, and Phil Thomas, uh, Randy Sheeks, and Brian Graves and Max Morris. Max, how you doing? You been sleeping on me over there or are you awake? You still awake? <laughs> Scoot over there with Jim and y'all do one of those two-handed, four-handed kind of, uh, you know, get with it. How many hands you got between the two of you? <laughs> okay, what you gonna play? How about keep on the firing line? Y'all like that, don't you? We're gonna turn them loose. Are you ready? Give a big hand to these guys. Here we go. You already changed keys one time, but that's okay. We want y'all to. I want y'all to play it. Oh, you want me to sing it first? First? Okay, we can do that. All right. It's on page two twelve. Are you ready? Turn to somebody and say, "I'm ready." How about you? and equipment here. Against all evil. 
him. Hey, Max. Hey, Max, just play a little something. Why are you there? Just play a little something. Just play a little something. We just love to hear you play. Max, I can't ever get him to play the piano. Come on, just play a little something for me, buddy. You're my friend, aren't you? Come on, sit down. I love to hear Max play the piano, don't you? Nobody like Max. On Tuesday nights at the Garden Plaza, there's a group singing Ridback every Tuesday night, and it's led by Dan Petty, and they're called the Christian Classic Choir. But four of them coming now to sing, I'll have a new body, I'll have a new life. Come on, give them a big hand. Here they go. Fitzgerald, give them a big hand. Wow, that was good. On page 333 is probably the favorite song everybody wants to sing every time we get together, and that's I'll Fly Away. Anybody like that one? Well, let's stand up and sing it. Come on and clap your hands. We got to have some hand clapping. Come on, Brian, play for us. Here we go. I'll Fly Away.
Come on, give yourselves a hand for good singing. Turn and hug somebody before you're seated. That's good for you. All the bases love to sing page 92, don't they, huh? Let's go to page 92. You can be seated. Page 92. And we're going to turn the bases loose. Here we go, guys. Well, I once was lost in sin, but Jesus took me in. And then a little light from heaven filled my soul. It made my heart in love, and it wrote my name above. And just a little talk with Jesus. Faces, come on. Now let us. Just a little talk with Jesus makes it right. Come on, basses. Give yourselves a hand. How about over on this side? How about Dr. Khan? That's pretty good there. Huh? You've been to church a time or two there, haven't you? You wasn't walking around the tabernacle all your life, I guarantee you. You went inside there a night or two, didn't you? How about over on this side? Something you really want to sing tonight. Somebody tell me. I want a name, buddy. They always call it by the numbers. Isn't that something? 312. What's 312? The Eastern Gate, who said that? Winner, you're a winner. That's on my list, I'm gonna do it, here we go. Here we go, page 312. Mm, I will be
the second verse. Well, if you hasten off to glory, linger near the eastern gate. Oh, sing it now. tonight what 1 30 no it's uh, almost 8 o'clock you missed it there but that's okay number 130 what is that I never shall forget the day all right is that a good one y'all like it are you gonna sing it here we go come on Phil how about Phil Thomas and all these great piano players give him a big hand
Kim Hill. Sing it. Me too. I had a three-week revival last night. <laughs> Let's look over here on page 358. Down at the Hold to God's unchanging hand. Would you sing a little bit of that for us? I can do it. Sing a little bit of that. I like to hear that. That's a good song. 358. Hold to God's unchanging hand. Mm -hmm. Time is filled with swift transition and all of earth unmoved shall stand build your hopes on things eternal and hold to God's Unchanging hand. Oh, to God's unchanging hand. Oh, to God's unchanging hand. 
Thank you, Tim Hill. That's pretty. Page 116. I'm getting ready to leave this world. You ready? Let's sing it. Come on. Willing up my treasures in that home of mine. Trusting fully, trusting in the Savior's love. Somebody sing What a Friend We Have in Jesus. Renee? What page is that? Page 41. What? 341. Sing, girl. What? A friend we have in Jesus. Oh, our sins and griefs to bear. Thank you, Jesus. What a privilege to Just take 
it to the Lord in prayer for all what needs we often forfeit and all what needless pain we you feel like praying, doesn't it? Just put your hand over your heart. Just pray. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for this great music. Thank you, Lord, for the fact that you are the ever-present help in the time of need. We speak the name of Jesus, Lord, knowing that all power therein for those here tonight that need healing so many are suffering in so many ways and we pray God for healing we know you are the healer you are our provider we ask you to touch us tonight Lord most of all Lord that we'll get a clear vision of you whether it's through a song or through your word or through sharing with a friend we draw closer to you we love you Lord and we thank you for this time tonight Thank you for this beautiful music. Amen. We hadn't heard from you folks over there in the cheap seats tonight, but uh, anybody over there got one just going to break your heart if we don't sing it? What is it? Yes. 410, near the cross. Well, look at there. Let's do it. I don't know about you, but I'm having a big... That's the last one in the book. My Lord, we'll be finished. <laughs> Woo, give her a hand. You knew what you was doing, didn't you? You're right. We do have refreshments uh, and, and, and just below you tonight. So you must be getting hungry, huh? <laughs> Jesus, keep me.
Amen. Come on, that sounds so good together. you could sing a little better, but it's been fun. <laughs> Our last song of the evening on page 110. Folks, we're going to do this again when we get to heaven. Heaven's Jubilee. Are you ready? Huh? We're going to sing this and clap our hands and let it ring. How about a big hand for all the choir and the accompanist and the soloist tonight? All right. Here we go. Take off, Jim. Well, some glad morning we shall see Jesus in the air Coming after you and me, joy is ours to share What rejoicing that will be when the saints shall rise Headed for that jubilee, yonder in the sky Well, oh, what singing, oh, what shouting On that happy morning when we all shall Downstairs, and uh, we hope you'll join us down there and say hello. Most of all, thanks for joining us in songs that touch our heart. We don't need a benediction tonight, we just need some going out of here music. Jim Billy, and let's hear it. God bless you. See you next time. Uh -huh.